Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing your reading for the first week of June from the 1st to the 9th to see what messages are in store for you and how can you best navigate your week. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. You guys know I love you. If you are a new watcher, please make sure to subscribe before you go or you can actually click the subscribe button right now. That will make me smile. It will make my day, honestly. <laughs> to have you here and be able to continue to share all of these readings with you. I'm going to be pulling eight cards from the Mystic Mondays deck. And I have a little surprise announcement for you at the end of the video. So please make sure to stay. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> please make sure to stay all the way until the end. These tend to be quite short but filled with information. Capricorn's first week of June. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I don't do reversals, by the way, in case you're wondering. Okay, Capricorns. Right now, I feel like this week, you might be dealing with some kind of authority figure, boss, father figure um, dominant energy in your environment there is a possibility that you are becoming a very dominant energy in your environment meaning that you are kind of like sitting in your throne for the first time in years and taking control of things and being a leader a powerful powerful leader in your life in ways that you haven't been you know active before or recently some of you guys might be dealing with Aries energy if there is someone in your environment that feels very authoritative, feels very strong-headed, very um, like powerful, observe that person. Observe that person in your environment and see and try to to you know see through the person and ask yourself if they're being completely honest with you. If you're being completely honest to them if they're being completely honest with themselves. There is a lack of honesty presenting itself for some Capricorns out there regards to a person could be an Aries. And there's clarity that needs to come through. So make sure that no one is trying to take any advantage of you. Make sure that no one is trying to, you know, manipulate you in any way. These are all energies associated with the Seven of Swords. But I hear, I hear, see, <laughs> sorry I see here um, the ace of swords which tends to be a powerful conversation that needs to come through so a moment of clarity a conversation maybe a confrontation asking this person what their intentions are could be actually quite wonderful um, however it might not go the way you want but it will go the way you need that goes for someone out there that's a very specific message Know that these are general readings, so obviously some messages are for you, other messages are for other people. Um, but if there is someone in your environment that is an Aries, that you feel like you have poured energy into or interest into, and you feel like they're not being completely honest, if you have that conversation to clarify everything, there is a good chance you'll be headed in the better direction, even if that's not the direction that you want or seek. But things are gonna be cleared, and that is important. We don't want you to be under false expectations, Capricorn. So with the Two of Pentacles here and the Judgment card, it seems like you are receiving a lot of blessings this week. You are juggling possibilities. You're juggling options. Some of you guys might not be completely honest with a person like this. And maybe you are the ones that are, you know, in need of being held accountable. That's okay. For some at work, this week might be feeling a little bit heavy, might be feeling a little bit overburdened. What I'm hearing is some Capricorns are over, overburdened with their wounds from the past that are based on dishonesty. So clearing or energy work could be very beneficial for you guys. Um, for those that resonate with that particular message, make sure to stay till the end of this video because the surprise that I have can actually help you with this. If you feel like you have experienced dishonesty um, 
deceptions, disappointments, and pain in the past, and that have left your heart feeling overburdened and heavy. Um, there are ways to release that energy. You don't have to hold on to that weight forever. There are ways to release that energy. I'm going to share some with you later. I don't do reversals, by the way, in case you see me flipping the cards. Um, some of you guys might be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. This person is very intuitive, very psychic, very powerful, very beautiful, sensitive, emotional, creative. Sometimes could be a little emotionally immature or get carried away with their emotions a little bit too much. So make sure that this person is also helping you if it's you know, a joint effort, like you're not carrying all the burden of things. Oh, but it seems like you're feeling very loved this week as well with the Nine of Cups here. It seems like your family or home situation is quite positive. I feel like some of you guys could benefit of releasing certain things. This Ten of Wands here is the only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about with the Seven of Swords. Make sure that you are not holding on to resentments from the past. Make sure that you are not holding on to way too many responsibilities. Make sure that you're not trying to spread yourself too thin or trying to do more than you can actually do. Clarity, communication, epiphanies, good ideas could come this week, so pay attention to that. Make sure to write them down. And know that you are eternally supported by the universe. With the Nine of Cups here, I feel like you have a lot of people around you who really care about you and who really love you. And they're willing to do what it takes to have you in their lives. I like that. So, yeah, you guys, I'm going to be pulling one additional card. I'll flip this because this is so bright that it kind of like takes away from the image of any other deck that I use. They're so like neon colored. These were a gift from a friend and I've been loving them so much. These cards of Mystic Monday Tarot. So cute. And so good for videos. <laughs> it's like the perfect deck for videos. <sighs> What's the message coming through for Pisces? What is the message coming through for Pisces? What did the Pisces... Oh no, Pisces no, I'm sorry. Capricorns, jeez, sorry. Whoops. Okay. Universe erase that intention. <laughs> my intention is to receive appropriate messages for the Capricorns. Oh my God, for the Capricorns. <laughs> for the Capricorns, first week of June. For the beautiful, gorgeous Capricorns. Okay, here you go. The B. I am going to be reading from the book the entire message. I know that some of you guys have commented, and I love your comments, by the way. Keep, keep bringing all of your, you know, information through. I know that some of you have benefited a lot when I read the oracle messages from the oracle decks that I use. Read them directly from the book. Many of you have told, have told me that the exact wording has been, like incredibly powerful for you so I'm gonna continue to do that to make sure that the message is coming through exactly as the author intended in this case Kim Kranz so with the B card earnest hardworking democratic energy the B personality is a delight to be around especially when there is a team project on the horizon bees love to work steadily and thoughtfully until the final task is complete they are sensitive creatures, aware of many subtleties at once. Since they're artistic at heart, they usually add creative details to the overall vision. For the most part, they have busting, joyous personalities until they're, cho until they're too tired from all the work and then they gripe and then they sting. When this energy is balanced, they feel con you feel content, active and vibrant. When this energy is out of balance within you, you may feel overworked and annoyed. To bring energy into balance, a mini vacation wouldn't hurt. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, um, my surprise for you is that I'm actually opening enrollments for the Shamanic Journey Series program, which is based on animal medicine. So if you've ever wondered how to connect to animals, 
the spirit of animals, ask spirit guides how to receive healing from them, how to receive direct messages from them, how to retrieve your own power animal that has come with you into this incarnation. Make sure to check that out. It is a seven day journey of shamanic journey meditations, including some classes too, to access higher levels of self-care, self-love, self-worth through the unity with the animal realm. Sending so much love your way. I'm going to leave all the information in the description box below. I highly, 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 highly recommend it. I'm going to be promoting this course all month and I'm happy to be able to share this with you. June is the perfect month to go through this process. And it is quite the healing experience, I have to say. It, it works through the chakras, it works through different things, and it's intense and beautiful, you know? So if you're healing, if you're needing a little bit of a boost in your life, make sure to check it out. Always, everything is going to be left in the description box below. So there's always going to be goodies for you over there. Sending so much love, you Capricorns. I love you. Bye.